Hi guys, welcome to Skoda, your online school. Do you know how to solve the following questions? If you can, you are welcome to skip and check your understanding by solving the individual questions. If you cannot, please join my class. We have two objectives to be covered in this video. The first one, how to calculate the average atomic mass, and the second one is how to find the molar mass for different compounds. As we can see that atomic masses of most of the elements on the periodic table are not exact whole number. And this is because that most elements are mixtures of isotopes. What do we mean by isotopes? Let me explain. Isotopes are atoms that have the same number of protons and different number of neutrons like hydrogen-11, hydrogen-12, and hydrogen-13. As we can see, that all of them, they have the same atomic number, which is 1. And since they have different number of neutrons, that's why they have different mass number. As we can see, the first one, it has a mass number equal to 1, the second equal to 2, and the third one, it's equal to 3. And to calculate the average atomic mass of hydrogen, we should multiply each of these masses by the percentage of abundance of each one of these isotopes as we're going to see in the following example. In this question, we have to calculate the average atomic mass of gallium. We have two isotopes of gallium. The first one, its abundance is 60%, while its mass is 68.926 AMU. And the second one, its percentage of abundance is 40%, while its mass is 70.925 AMU. How to calculate the average atomic mass of gallium? Let's see. To calculate the average atomic mass, and not to be confused, I advise you to highlight the percentage with its mass with a different mark like here i'm going to underline the first percentage with the first mass and i'm going to draw a square around the second percentage and its mass and then we write average atomic mass it's equal to we multiply the first percentage by its corresponding mass we add it to the second percentage multiplied by its corresponding mass and then we divide by 100 and the answer is going to be 69.7256 AMU or if you want to take two decimals 69.73 now one thing to mention before I move to another example is that the mass of one atom of gallium is going to be equal to 69.7256 AMU while the mass of one mole of gallium is going to be 69.7256 grams so we use the same number but with different units atoms we measure it in amu moles we measure it in grams and by the way if you want to know more about moles you will find many useful links in the description showing you what do you mean by a mole and how to use it in calculations let me solve the question that i gave you at the introduction of the video here we have to calculate the average atomic mass of chromium we have four isotopes of chromium the first one its percentage of abundance is 83.79 and its mass is 51.94 AMU. The second one, its percentage is 9.5, while its mass is 52.94. The third one, its percentage is 4.35%, while its mass is 49.95. Then the fourth one, its percentage is 2.36, while its mass is 53.94. As you can see, I'm highlighting the percentage with its mass with a different mark, so I'm not confused when I'm doing the calculation. So to find the average atomic mass of chromium, you have to multiply each mass by its percentage, put them in a bracket, add them all and divide by 100. The answer is going to be 51.995635. If you want to take two decimals, we round it to 52 AMU. And that's it for finding the average atomic mass for different atoms. I hope that you find it easy. Please, if you still find it difficult, Ask for help by writing me a comment. And now let's practice finding the molar mass of different compounds. To find the molar mass of a compound, it's easy. Just add the molar mass of all the atoms in the formula of that compound. Like here, the first compound, its formula is C6H12O6. So we should find the molar mass of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen from the periodic table, and then add them all together, like what I'm going to do right now. As you can see from the periodic table, that the molar mass of carbon is 12, while the molar mass of hydrogen is 1, and the molar mass of oxygen is 16. As you can see, I took the numbers, rounded to the nearest tenth. 
So to find the molar mass of the first formula, we just multiply the number of carbon atoms, which is 6, by their mass, 12, add them to 12 hydrogen atoms times its mass, 1, then add them to 6 oxygen atoms multiplied by their mass, which is 16. Add them all, and the answer is going to be 180 gram per mole. So the unit of the molar mass is always gram per mole. In the next formula, we have calcium, nitrogen, and oxygen. Let's check their molar mass on the periodic table. The molar mass of calcium to the nearest tenth is 40, nitrogen is 14, and oxygen is 16. So we go back to the formula. 40 is the mass of calcium, plus 2 times the molar mass of nitrogen is 14. We add it to 3 times 16, the molar mass of oxygen. And then the total is going to be 164 grams per mole. So multiply the number of the atom with its molar mass. For the last one, let's check the molar mass for phosphorus, oxygen, hydrogen, and nitrogen. The molar mass of phosphorus to the nearest tenth is 31, oxygen is 16, nitrogen is 14, and hydrogen is 1. So let's go back to the formula. Here we have 2 times the molar mass of nitrogen, which is 14, added to 4 hydrogen atoms. Then we add it to 1 hydrogen, 1 phosphorus, and 4 oxygen atoms. And the total is going to be 132 grams per mole. And now you are ready to solve the end of video questions. Please, if you are not, repeat the video again. Otherwise, solve the questions. Put your answer in the comment section. If you have any question that I didn't cover in the video, please share it with me in the comment section. Share this video with your friends. Subscribe to my channel to stay tuned for more videos. See you in other videos and good luck.